What's going on, people? Now, this video was requested by a couple of my subscribers about the Tupac and the GD situation. And you know, in my one video, man, people was calling me a Tupac hater. I like some of Tupac music. He ain't biggie, but his music definitely get banged in the will. But anyway, welcome to Members Only. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss out. Now, when it comes to gang politics, Tupac always sticks his nose in it for some reason, and it never goes well for him. He did a show in Milwaukee, and you know, a day before, Robert Yummy Sandifer, he was an 11-year-old gang member. He lost his life to gang violence. Now, while Pac performed, you know, there was some GD members in the crowd yelling thug life, you know, supporting Pac. Now, by the third or fourth song, someone threw some ice at Pac. You know, of course, Pac got mad, cut the music, and asked who did it. Now, the crowd was laughing at Tupac, and you know, Pac felt like he was the butt of the joke. Now, Pac offered money to whoever that gives the person up that threw the ice. I think it was like $100 to $200. Now, the crowd continued to laugh, and guys started to pull out knots of money, calling him a clown, saying things like, we got more money than you. It was like four or five different people that pointed to themselves like I did it. You know, they wasn't showing Pac any respect, and they didn't really take him serious. He was a rapper. Now, you know, Pac feels embarrassed, and now he has to stick up for himself because it didn't work when he offered the money trying to get them on his side. So, you know, he did what Tupac was known to do best. He went on a whole rant, calling them cowards, cussing them out. That's when he brought up the little boy incident. Now, before Pac jumped out the window, he should have known that the incident didn't involve the GDs. It was actually the Black Disciples. But, you know, Tupac's emotions took over and things got crazy. I mean, like, what do you expect gangsters to do when they're disrespected? You don't just challenge a group of killers. If they don't let dudes from around the corner talk to them like that, they're definitely not letting an out-of-towner get away with it, especially a rapper. They looked at most rappers as solved during this time. Now, you know, Tupac had no type of rank or authority to even speak on the situation, but in his eyes, he's sticking up for the kid, which you could respect, but there's other ways to go about it. Plus, the kid was a demon himself. And you know, another thing is that the incident happened in Chicago, which is like an hour and a half away from Milwaukee. And this was the time where dudes was getting smoked for just wearing their hats a certain way. So dudes from Chicago was definitely in the building heavy and people started to throw coins and all types of stuff. Now guys from the back started heading towards the front. So at this point, the whole four rows was full of GDs and someone threw a glass bottle at Tupac and it almost hit him in the head. So that's when things popped off. And he didn't jump in a crowd like people said he did, and it definitely weren't any shots fired at the concert. But I heard guns were fired that night on the street. And of course, I wasn't there, but I talked to a couple people that was in the building. A couple of people got trampled. You know, Pac and them got ran out of Milwaukee. Man, they all went to his hotel. They tore the hotel up looking for Pac. And it wasn't even GDs. It was, it was civilians walking around looking for Pac. That's how crazy it was. So yes, he got ran out of the city and the gangs did not want him back. He was banned. Law enforcement didn't even want him back. And not only Pac and the other rappers had to run for their lives, the whole building had to run for their lives. Guys lost thousands of dollars worth of equipment due to damage. Photographers were in danger. His own fans that just wanted to be there to see the show was in danger. And you know, that was a bad move when it comes to business. You know, rappers lost money. I'm not even sure if they even got paid. And I'm not sure if, you know, Tupac had anyone around him to check him, or I guess they didn't check him because of who he was. I guess the real question I'm trying to ask is, where was his OGs? Because he moved more like a crash dummy throughout his whole life. And based on his interviews, he seemed smarter than that. And you know, his actions weren't the smartest. He needed the right OGs around him. Like the right OGs will keep you out of jail. The right OGs will keep you alive and would have saw something special. It's all about protecting the money. The right people around you, would give you the jewels to make sure you don't die broke. And yes, he died very young, but just like I said, when you watch the videos of his interview, this guy had some sense. Now, after the Milwaukee incident, the GDs definitely didn't want Tupac back there. They didn't want any rappers coming back, and I think someone that had ties to the GDs was the one that threw the concert. But rappers definitely had to check in, you know, after that. And it could have it could have gotten way worse than that. They said Tupac disappeared, he got out of there. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just a quick video. You know, I'm sure most of you guys heard the story, but you know, don't forget to hit that like button, you know, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications, and you know, I'm out.